And we're back with some more RimWorld. Now, last episode, I was uh, saying we weren't going to go through here in the middle of winter. That would be bad. And, uh, you know, because it is October coming into winter, except it turns out we're in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, didn't quite wrap my brain around that. So when you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it turns out the months are reversed. Yeah. Uh, oopsie. Easy way to tell you, you can just click on a tile and it will tell you down here. So actually, we're coming into the spring. This is the perfect time to start raiding this area. So we are immediately going to get our shuttle on. Now, we can't go too far, but I'm thinking we plop down right here beside this pirate base. Not right on top of it. We're going to put a caravan right there. And that should take everyone to that location. Then what we'll do is we'll just uh, roll back into Mino, or whatever the, however this place is called. We'll hop back into Mino first thing in the morning and we'll clear it out. We'll take all the resources they have and we'll go sell them over here for whatever it's worth. We can see the daylight rolling across there. Though maybe it might be a better idea to attack during the middle of the night. Our people are much better at close combat than shooting. Anyway, let's... Yeah, that's about early enough in the morning. Let's get a little team together and send them in. Eight very angry murder bunchkins. Well, I'd say angry. Realistically, I'm not sure if they're ever angry or just so much as, you know, thirsty. We'll send them in here and we'll see what this pirate base has in store. I don't think we've killed any... Well, we've only killed a few bases along the way. We've been very lazy about that. Very lax. We'll pick up a few along the way, we might as well, though I am not wiping out all of the pirates again. That just takes way too much time. Uh, first thing I think we'll do is we'll let everyone grab all their weapons. Come on, sort it out. You know which ones are yours. But who's missing a sword? Turns out Chief was just being a little bit lazy. That's fine though, what have we got to deal with here? Mostly, tr well, it's going to be tribals, we got 11 humans outdoors, a bunch more inside. Uh, I think, hmm, do we want to rush them or do we want to stay at range? You know what? I think we'll keep them at range and we'll just hit them with some berserk pulses. Wait until they come around the corner. Say we'll get everyone over here to start with. I got a bit of a better idea. Uh, we're going to take Index this direction. We're going to have everyone else hide behind here. And Index is going to head this direction. And uh, the reason being, they have a very nice little toy we'd like to try out. Uh, pretty good range on it too. This sucker. Well, yeah, let's put that right about there. Perfect. Now let's get out of here. Uh, we'll run them this direction, maybe a little bit by these, and preferably they would go nuts and attack into the tribals. It softens them up and we don't really have to do anything. It's like a cheap animal pulser for attacking places. Okay, what's the range on that sucker? Ah, no, we're well outside it. Plus index is insanely zippy. At 6.85, I don't think anything's going to catch them. Come on. All right, let's see what happens. Come on, and with all those mufflos, I'm pretty sure they'll make absolute mincemeat of them. Because they're all bows. Come on. Just... <laughs> oh, what the hell? You're getting murdered by a bunch of animals and you've decided that it's time to attack me? Well, yeah, I suppose we did kind of start it. Uh, we'll just put our people over there. Yeah, everyone runs in that direction. Uh, I doubt they're fleeing. They're coming after us. Hey, hey, stop that. Just stay where you are and get murdered by muffalos. Plan here is quite simple. Let everyone shoot them. Where are the muffalos going? Did the muffalos... Oh, it wore off. That's why. Ouch. You know what? I think it's time we got some skips involved here. I'm pretty sure that, that one's going to die. Yep. And another one bites the dust. Uh, chief. Oh, actually, that, actually, that hurt. Damn you. How many of you guys left alive? I probably should have uh, doubled down on the muffalo so that they could do more killing. That was kind of sloppy on my part. But I have noticed that this one over here, Bat, I think is their name. Their plate armor is made out of silver. How many of these have I missed? It's worth 1,835. Um, if we capture them alive. Worst case, we could, you know, break it down. Hmm. I think it might be worth zapping them. Actually, we'll zap them just to find out how much that is worth. Never mind. The psychic insanity lance got left behind. In that case... Perfect. Base destroyed. Are they running this direction? Yes, they are. That means we can just shoot a lot of them dead. I haven't destroyed that armor, but we'll strip that guy anyway. Let's go have a look, see what prezies have in, we have in store over here. First up, we have a barracks full of... Yeah, yes, we have an awful barracks. Great. Next up, a bunch of random resources. Okay. Then more cloth bedrolls. Wow, that's a lot of bedrolls. Ah, finally, some dining chairs. 14 dining chairs? Maybe they're not as savage as so much... Oh, wow. 
They were definitely not salvages. 26 dining chairs? Looks like we're feasting tonight. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab it all and get out of here. Actually, you know, a bunch of those mufflos are weak. Maybe we should just go butcher a bunch of them. Oh, and I've got to grab your man's armor and grind that up. Hmm, one moment. I'm thinking a quick drafted hunt will take care of all of these problems. And uh, yep, done, and hunt, and instant test. Everyone's going to grab a quick kibble snack, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use these butcher spots to butcher an awful lot of animals. We'll grab an extra first while we're here. Nothing like the delicious sounds of everyone slicing up more money. I was just putting the caravan together when I noticed these are all Devil Strand. These are a whole bunch of Devil Strand sleeping bags. All right, that's actually going to be worth a fair chunk. I had to bring in the rest of the caravan just so that we had enough carry capacity. Uh, we just didn't have enough with, like, there's just so much to carry and we, we needed the animals. Time for a quick 0.7 of a day trek over to the Empire. We'll trade with them, but I don't think we're going to stop. We're going to go straight over to Meher, Meher, because it's the only place that will buy most of the gunk we've just picked up. The Empire don't deal in chairs. Nothing too amazing here. A uh, fire skip side trainer, a wall raise, charge rifle, and a shock lance. I've... We found uses for a wall raise and fire skip, so I figured we'll take him along. Everything else, eh, not so good. Alright, we're going to head straight over here and trade with these fellas. And then once we finish trading with them, which would be 0.4 of a day, uh, we're going to maybe settle down in between these two places, grab some more resources, and then trade with these fellas. Thankfully, this town are very discerning and are more than willing to purchase all of our chairs and Devil Strand bedrolls. Uh, we picked up a size trainer for Skip, two shooting skill trainers, and an aesthetic, aesthetic shaper. Nice. Now it's time to get out of here. Uh, I say we head over this direction, settle down in the morning, and get ourselves... Uh, well, we need to get our morale back up and running. We're a little bit low on that end. And then I think it's going to be going over here to whatever that is and destroying it and then taking the resources and selling them over there before we migrate down to this section. I think we're probably going to need another shuttle to get there, or maybe not. There may be a way through here. The problem is I'm not sure how we're going to get from there to there. We're going to need a shuttle, but I'm not sure if it'll take us the whole way, and I won't be like judge it exactly until we get there. See, there's a lot of mountain ranges in here. This is just a nightmare of a place to navigate. Maybe we'd be better off over here. Actually, probably not. Oh, yeah, no, the... It has a only 40 day growing period. I think we'll stick to up here. This new tell we've settled in looks pretty promising. It's actually, well, not that bad at all. In fact, we've got two ancient dangers, one over here and one down here. So we're going to settle in the middle, uh, right beside this big vein of steel. And this will allow us to put together a nice little shelter very quickly. We may have settled down an area that was a little bit small. When I uh, dumped all the animals out, some stuff uh, may have overflown, but we've managed to pull it all back in again, which reminds me we should uh, tame back down hall again. I, I cranked up halls so that everyone would take care of the problems. But barring that, everyone's settling in for the night, and I think we'll crank back up to Cyphophagus. We're going to get everyone back onto their chairs tomorrow and get them all trained up. We have a quest that has shown up that looks amazingly good. Uh, paid EMI Dynamo. Basically, someone sets up a dynamo nearby, and it'll be guarded by two grizzly bears, which seems... Minor. Resurrector mech serum. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll just take that, thank you very much. Now, with that accepted, it'll show up somewhere on the map, site appeared, yeah, it should be very nearby. Oh wow, that is, th yeah, that's really close by. I think we'll send someone over there to take care of that tomorrow morning. Oh wow, they actually gave us the reward already. We didn't even have to wait till morning. Um. Yay, I suppose. Uh, Pinky, maybe just go grab that now. Prioritize holding the... The Resurrector Mech Serum will degrade out there, so let's just bring it inside. I doubt it'll last that long, but better safe than sorry. Another thing I learned is... Where is it? Over here. There is a psychic... Ah, where is it? A Psylink Neuroformer. These things don't degrade. Seems even if you leave it outside, nothing happens to it. However, the Resurrector Mech Serum, that'll burn. Uh, yeah, the Resurrector Mech Serum that was on this location, it has uh, burned up. It got incinerated down here at some point. So, it's amazing things you learn that do burn and don't. Base is all sorted and squared away. We're uh, going to put in an electric smelter so we can... Um, is that on or off? No. We're going to put in an electric smelter so we can smelt up that armor. And we've got the rest of the crew over here ready to take down this wall. And once we take down that wall, we can go see what goodies are inside. 
So we're doing it from a really acute angle because I hate the way every time you open it up and there's just something waiting there to shoot us. That really annoys me. So this time we've got it from a good angle and there's only bugs. And what do we get? Skill trainer mining. Actually, we got a bunch of skill trainers we're going to have to assign out. All right, well, let's get everyone over here ready to go. This should be fairly straightforward and fast. Any of them get too close, we'll just send people with fire swords up front to uh, incinerate them. Oh, 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 they hit the... I was worried about him hitting the ancient crypto sleep caskets, but you know what? It turned out to be okay. Everyone inside was already nappish. We've cleared out one tomb. We'll clear out the second one in the morning. Actually, we might want to apply a bunch of those skills we found lying around the place. Chief gets to get another social skill trainer. That brings him from level 13 to level 16, which should improve all our trading in the future. Pamela is going to get her shooting up to level 13. Nail's shooting level 14. That uh, changes this tree just a little bit. Nice. Pamela's still the lowest down in the tree, though. Then what we're going to have is we're going to have Pamela here gain a construction skill. That brings up to level 6. She was only on level 2 or something to start, so this made a big difference. Um, middle over here is going to get their hands on crafting, just because they actually have the potential to be a really good crafter. We just haven't got any a bunch of crafters for this. In fact, the best crafter we have is only level 11 with Thumb. So Thumb and Middle now at least can craft, which is worthwhile. When it comes to melee, everyone, well... Not everyone is amazing, but I think Knuckles could use this the most, considering they are only going to be they're going to be the only one doing nothing but melee. That'll take him straight from level 10 to level 11. Not amazing, but worthwhile. Next up, mining. Jeez, we have so I can't I've lost track of the amount of these we've actually handed out. You know what? We'll grab middle and we'll give them the minor training, just because we, we like to spread these out so everyone turns out to be pretty good. I mean, our team is pretty rocking all the way around. We are going to give Ring the skip sidecast, namely because they don't really have anything else that's worthwhile, so that will at least make them useful in a fight. Well, that and Berserk Pulse. So the skip will definitely help them out. We've got so many people with Berserk Pulse right now. We're going to give Nails, Wall Rays, and Fire Skip, and what does that leave? Beckon. Yeah. You know what, Nails? You can have the Beckon as well. Why not? And that's everyone loaded up with all the skill trainers we have. With all of that sorted out, we'll, we'll do the operations later we're going to head over here and we're going to crack open another tomb same thing again we're going to take this at a very acute angle and hopefully nothing is going to try and immediately attack us well centipedes what do you know Ooh, 18 luciferium you know what whatever else is in here that's totally worthwhile we're going to have the first one shot at come ah, perfect now we'll do a little bit of a skip here we'll skip you right in there and then we'll get everyone into it Ow. Uh, Pamela is up front face tanking a scyther, which is a little bit of a problem, but we'll start that in one second. The uh, lancer should die instantly, and we teleported away the scyther, and that just leaves the centipede. The centipede joins the mosh pit. Whoa, whoa, Pamela, where, where are you going? Oh, melee attacking the scyther. You know what? Just hold on one second. Hold on one second. There we go. Just take your time and beat the snot out of the centipede first. Oof. And the Scyther is going to slowly crawl back to us at a speed of 0 0.99. Hmm, shooting time, methinks. Foreman is firing line. We've got all the time in the world. It is really crawling. And that's one dead Lancer. Or Scyther, whatever. And uh, next, let's open up these. Hmm. You know what? I think we'll run in here. We'll get everyone into melee, and then what we'll do is we'll just stun whoever comes out. We'll use the Psychic Shock Lance on whoever pops out that we want to keep. Assuming there's anyone we want to keep. We'll have Thumb open the caskets, and then we will pause it very quickly. Oh man, okay, well there's a couple alive at least. Unfortunately, none of these are worth taking alive, so I suppose death? Guys, I told you to melee attack them. Does that not mean you're going to just take out your actual proper weapons? Alright, that's much better. That should be the end of that. Perfect, perfect. Alright, let's strip them out. And then get on out of here. I don't think we're going to do any operations in this tile, namely because we're too far away from a decent operating area. It's just, uh, I, I didn't settle beside an ancient danger. I suppose we could make a quick little doctoring area right here. It'd be very... Actually, we might. We might. One moment. Let me tidy up the mess here. Oh, while all of that is going on, I should probably point out the uh, Pact of Toxos attacked this tile. Um, yeah, there's, there's like a few of them. Like Australia just is still murdering everything that goes near it. Well, I suppose the uh, the centipedes are doing just fine. Oh, turtle. I do not hold out much hope for your your chances of life, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. Let's see if we can do some operations over here. We don't really have enough parts to be bothered doing it. Uh, four of those parts are aesthetic, aesthetic shapers and noses. We, we don't need them. 
Uh, we, we need to get stone skins before we can attach those. So we're going to get index, throw them into a quick caravan and have them go over here and take care of this dynamo. The only reason we want to take care of the dynamo is we want to be able to use the electric smelter so we can smelt down the silver plate armor we got earlier, which theoretically should wield us about, yield us about 400 gold, I think, or 400 silver. Index is, of course, incredibly fast, so they should be able to get there, do the job, and get home before nightfall. We didn't even send them with a the bed. We sent them with one dinner and uh, orders to do some ass kicking. Now, all they got to face off against is some bears. Two bears, to be precise, which they should be able to run around in circles if they need to, because, like I said, they're super fast. 6.85 as opposed to the 4.60. Yeah, let's just uh, start kiting them. Yeah, quick wing around the rosy. Yeah, that's fine. Let's come down here. All of you over here. That's great. Uh, oh, yeah. Did I mention we're also wizards? So, yeah, we'll just go that way. Open the door. And once we're through the door, we'll just stay inside the room for a minute. All right. Now, the door should close behind us. Now, I'm pretty sure that's going to give out a big zap. Do we have anything that might affect our brain? No. Nope, should be good. Door closes. Perfect. Let's make sure they don't do too much damage to the door when they get in here. I'm pretty sure they'll lose interest. If they don't, we can always go to the other side. Come on, stop that. Yeah, there we go. Alright, you. Whip out the sword. Sword has much higher DPS. Oh god. You know what? Let me just see if the, if the gun does a bit better, perhaps. 94. Three percentage points per hit. But I think it's wind-up time is a little bit higher. I really should have just brought some grenades. It would have made this so much faster. Oh, wow. I just realized I love my work. I could do this all day, every day. They're, they're really happy because they're getting to do melee all day. It's not actually training their melee skill, but it technically counts as melee for happiness sakes, or as doing their burning passion. Ah, Rimworld, you keep revealing new depths to me every day. Oh, that thing's making a hissing noise. Let's uh, back away a little bit. Okay, EMA Dynamo has been destroyed. Is there anything here we want? Yeah, you know what? Let's pick those up and pick up all the Plasteel as well. We'll take those with us. And now let's get off to the edge of the map. What that? Oh, wow. You took the totally wrong door, but that's okay. You're just super fast anyway, so they can't catch you. Oh, it's night time. I don't think night affects them nearly as bad as it affects us. We used to be able to move at seven point something, but now... Oh, just make a difference. Uh, we'll let it out of here. And head back home. 0 0.1 of a day, I think they'll be home in time for dinner. I think someone already scrapped the armor because it's missing, but we do have 446 silver just sitting here that I don't think was there before. And these trombos appeared in Australia. Well, looks like they're no good to us. All right, I think we'll get out of here in the morning. There's no further stuff we need on this tile. That's a bit of a quick side trip. We harvested every single piece of heal root on the map. Like, all of it. We did the uh, full select thing. For example, you can just do this. Select all the things on the map with the... Oh, it's a, a mod. Uh, this allows you to select everything, and then we harvested every single one of them. And then I just expanded the animals allowed area so they could go along and pick it all up and bring it back for us. We managed to go from about 15 or 20 herbal medicine all the way up to 80. So I think we're good on the herbal medicine front. Uh, but we did end up having to stay another night. So we'll stay one more night, and in the morning, then we'll get out of here. Time to pack up and move on. No point staying here any longer. We've got everything we wanted out of the place. Uh, quest available. All right, what do we got? At least mech cluster. This one looks nasty. Toxic spewer. Whole bunch of nasty mechs. Whole bunch of turrets. Whole bunch of nasty stuff. But in exchange, we could get a psychic emanator. I would really like that psychic emanator. I'm thinking we just accept this, then abandon the tile. Well, okay, almost abandon the tile, leave one person behind, pick up the rewards, and then just abandon the tile afterwards. Maybe we have to destroy this to get it, or maybe we just get them immediately. If we get them immediately, great. If we don't, we just abandon the tile. We'll just, uh, we're already leaving anyway, so who cares? We'll pack everything up and get out of here, and uh, then we'll accept the quest. We'll leave one person behind, maybe, to accept it and get out of here. We get rid of the last of the stuff. The only person staying behind is Index, and the moment this caravan is off the map, Index is going to do a little bit of a summon. Uh, what is there? Probably should have left them some food. No, they'll be fine. They're they're well fed already. They'll be grand. 
Uh, once those two caravans are off the map, the first one's going to be a little bit slow because it's waiting for the uh, the baby alpacas. And it's one gone, second one should be gone shortly thereafter. Why are you so slow? Pregnant, late stage. Yeah, I, I never really weeded out all of the females out of the group. It just, we never really got time. Uh, perfect, with both of them gone, uh, I think it's time to accept this quest. We've only left Index behind, so they should be perfectly safe. If anything goes wrong, we can just fire skip them. Yep, yeah, they definitely do have fire skip. Yep, yeah, they do have fire skip, definitely. So one way or the other, this should be okay. Let's uh, accept this for the skill trainer and the psychic emanator. Okay, and then let's see how long it takes for it to kick off. You two merge up and wait. Index will be along shortly, hopefully. And there's the mechanoids right now. Well, that looks... Wow. Yeah, that looks like a mess. There is no way I'm bothered going after that. Um, I think we have to kill the Toxic Spewer to win this quest. I am not bothered going after that Toxic Spewer. That is just way, way, way too much effort. Uh, though that Toxic Spewer hasn't woken up yet, has it? You know what? Let's leave this here for a few days. Maybe another quest comes along and we can send one quest to deal with another. It's happened before. Anyway, Index is now on the... Oh. I've put them into a caravan so they should form up and get out of here immediately. Go on, get out of here. Scat! Alright, good. Alright, with that done, let's get out of here. We'll take the caravan and we're going to head over this direction. We're going to trade with Aliko, Akiko, whatever it's called. Oh, Index is going to catch up. Come on, Index. Oh, probably should have told you to run that direction. Dear Lord, this place was great. Two Berserk Pulse Psy Trainers? Hell yeah. Two Fire Skip Psy Trainers? Yeah, we use those all the time, yeah. Our an entire team, I think, now is going to have Berserk Pulse on everyone. Uh, 20 more Panoxacillin, some Smoke Leaf, and a few packets of Survival Meals. Yeah, well, we'll take it all. Thank you kindly. Now, I've been thinking about uh, our little problem back here, this area. I think we might just send someone in with maybe a little bit of invisibility, a couple of grenades, just walk them in and just uh, have them grenade that into oblivion. If we do that, we should get the quest completed. Of course, we have to make sure they're invisible. Too. So, a little bit of a little bit of thinking here. I think we can sort this out. First thing in the morning, time to head back. I think the person we're going to send in is Chief. Chief has invisibility, jump jet pack. We give them some grenades. We send them in with enough invisibility and all that. They should be good to go. In fact, I'm pretty sure their weapon gives them a bonus to size sensitivity as well. All right, Chief, get in there and kick some butt. Now, don't end up spawning right on top of the mechanoids. Mm. But at the same time, you know, don't don't spawn on the opposite side of the map. Actually, that's that's perfect positioning. That is, well, almost perfect positioning. I think they're still dormant. They're all still sleepy weepy. And if we check here, they've got proximity activators. We'll select all. And yeah, select all the similar things in the map. All right, we can just zip around the outside edge here. There we go. Come on, don't do any stupid pathfinding. Yep, that's fine. We got you nicely far enough away from the edges. Okay, now we'll bring you just up to there. We'll equip you with some... Actually, we'll equip you with grenades first. What's the radius on these suckers? You know what? Let's let's go back a bit. I mean, there is no need for us to be point blank. We can, we can do it from right there. Oh, yep. Before we throw that, though, maybe let's... <laughs> let's activate our invisibility. Now, slow down the game. Perfect. We're invisible. Now we just got to keep an eye on this. We've got to basically keep ourselves invisible bef and not let that run out. Come on. I maybe should have got two people. Oh, wow. One more. Yeah, then we're going to have to invisibilize again, I think. Yeah, that's, that's fine. What's that at? 60%. Oh man, we might have to overcharge. I really do not want to do that. Ooh, yeah, they just don't have enough psychic juice to keep this going for the whole time. It's one, two, I think we get one more off. What'll it be at? Ooh, that'll do 200 points more damage. We need two more. Yeah, we got to do another invisibility and then... Uh, jump jet? I think jump jet. What are we at? Two seconds? Well, if we're at two seconds, I'm thinking another invisibility is the way to go. Boom. Ooh, this... <laughs> okay. One more grenade. One more grenade. That's it. You're out of there. Run, run, run. Toxic spewer has been destroyed. Now that should, in theory, complete the mission. 
Five seconds, four seconds, jump jet time. No point hanging around. We want to be well outside of range. <laughs> uh, keep going, buddy. Keep going. Yep, yep. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, right. Now, did that actually complete the quest, though? I, Oh, man, I don't think it did complete the quest. Oh. Right. So, next plan, then. Uh, where do we put the psychic animal pulsers? Chief is headed off on the correct way, which is off the map that direction. Which is perfection. Oh, my God. That mess. I wonder, you know, if we do send an awful lot of animals at it, it might do something. I don't think it'll kill it, but at least it'll be entertaining. We'll go back out and we'll send someone else in. Who is... I think it's Index is the other person who has invisibility. Red Rover, Red Rover. Send Pinky over. Pinky's got invisibility, which should make this easier. Also, we're not going to activate it until they're ready to actually leave the tile. And let's hope they don't magically wander in, in the exact same spot. Did she... Oh, they did. <laughs> no. You were not going that way. You were going this way. Yep, that, that's that's better. We're going to send you all the way up this direction. You you are not going near those big bad mechanoids. All right, Pinky made it all the way back to base. Now we're going to send them out of here. Now, just before they get off the edge of the map, we're going to have them drop the animal pulser, activate it, and then complete their caravanning to get out of here. Should be fairly straightforward. Now, come on, hurry up. Oh, I keep forgetting. Pinky's a bit slow. That's why we didn't send Pinky in. Instead, we sent uh, Chief. Pinky has stone skin and a bunch of other stuff that makes them very tough, but very slow. Gear, animal pulser. Uh, I want you to activate the animal pulser. <laughs> the whole map turns red. Nope, 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 nope. Stop. No fighting. I want you to ignore. Run, 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 run. Yeah, that's right. Just get off the map. And... Yeah. Yep. Chaos ensues. Let's just sit back and enjoy the fireworks. Eh, medium speed is good. It's hard to keep track of everything. Oh, God, that's not... Yeah, it's, it's the fact that they've also got fire. I'm thinking all the animals on the map are not... Oh, God. Oh, God, that is just a horrifying slaughter. Yeah, the animals didn't stand a chance, did they? Wow, they killed one scyther over there. That's it. Just... That's a slaughter. Well, all right, now I feel a little bit guilty. I mean, not hugely guilty, but like a little bit. All right, the rest of the crowd are heading over here. We're gonna go uh, stay there for the night and then we're going to attack Brexus Rock in the morning. Oh no, we've got a raid by the nighttime landmines. I wonder which tile it's in. Uh, let me see. Uh, yep, this one. <laughs> so there's three of them here. Well, I wonder what happens when they encounter these fellas. It probably won't go well. You know what? Let's uh, let's put some furniture over here so they know where to attack. We just a few sleeping spots. Uh, maybe make a little bit of this their home zone. Mm, yeah, make it nice and tasty for them, just so they know where to go. Would hate if they didn't, you know, stay warm. That tile can get awful cold at night. Oh, pirates are beginning their assault. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yep, they're going straight for the sleeping spots. Yeah, I don't see that going well for you. Oh wait, nope. Fair enough. That's, uh... You've killed some torches. They're probably the smartest raiders I've seen. Oh, wait, no. I take it back. Never mind. All right. Uh, over here, we're almost ready to start our assault on the, uh... The, the pact of whatever. Yep. No, don't. Don't do it. Uh... Yeah. Uh, holy Jesus. Made it alive with only a bruise. You are so lucky. We're going to split off this team here. We'll leave Knuckles behind to guard the caravan. If anything bad happens while the team are away, we'll just fire skip everyone back to the caravan to protect it because, you know, it does contain all our worldly possessions and it would be nice to keep it. Ooh, we're just getting in here at night. That was probably not good timing. But you know what? We're good in melee anyway, so who cares? Having done a little bit of scouting on the map, I have come up with a battle plan. This is what their area looks like. I don't know why we can see some of those rooms, but whatever. There's a, a bunch of them all here. Mostly ranged, a few close combat, and we've got our people arranged here. Now you'll see those little things I've drawn out. There, there's method to the madness. Hold on. Uh, what we're going to do is here is we're going to get the Manhunter Pulse. 
Yes, I'm going to try this again, but this time being a little bit smarter. We're going to place it right about ooh, there. Ooh, actually, no, right about there, I think is good. And poof. Okay, they all went really mad. Now, we're close by, which is bad. But if we do a quick roll, roll raise right there, and say we'll get someone else to do a quick roll, roll raise, say nails as well, and then... Would you look at that? We're sealed in, walled away. Will they go for the others? Oh, yeah, come on, turn around, go the other direction. Now, I know this doesn't last forever, but if we can get them to go most of the way there, we can send Index to do a quick follow-up. Nice. It's really amazing what you can do when you start combining some of the skills. It's not stupidly amazing, but at least this should be interesting. Come on. But they're not even firing back. They're seeing them coming and they're doing nothing. Uh, it's not giving me a medical on how long this is before it wears off. I eh, think it's time for us to break out, though. There's no point staying in here anymore. A few quick shots and we're out of there. Those walls only have 200 hit points. There, It's actually kind of minuscule. I think we're, there's a turtle I got left behind, but we can take care of that. And the animals are doing a wonderful job this time around. I think they were closer so they didn't wander for as far. Oh, a bunch of them have given up. Index, where are you, buddy? Uh, we're going to get a lot of them to run forward. Now, index is the key here. I probably should have ran them forward first. If they could have got in range to do a second pulse, we probably could have just got the animals to keep going nuts for a while longer. How are they looking? Some of them are still attacking, actually. I suppose once they were involved in combat, they weren't going to give up. In that case, eh, let's just set up some defensive positions. Where's a good place to go? We'll let everyone line up for now. It's going to be a while before they get in range. And while they're doing that... I think we'll get a few more people behind cover. But that looks good. And then just to follow that up, I think we'll turn some more animals crazy. Why not? Ring here also has the ability, and the handy thing is if you scroll it around, you can actually see what animals are affected. So I think what we do is we keep it tight over this side and say affect all those animals. Now some of them, yes, some of them will be probably get drawn to us, but that's okay. But a whole bunch more are gonna get drawn to them as well. So they've got to defend from a bunch of animals attacking them from one side and us shooting them in the back from the other. Which seems like a bad deal for them. What the hell? Are you? Yeah, that's... that's That was going to be the end of them pretty quickly. Well, that worked out. We just used a few a, animal, a couple of berserk animal pulses and a few wall segments and we managed to win that. That's... Uh, I'm going to call that a nice build. Oh... Damn it, our people are really unhappy. Why? Oh, lack of recreation, I'd presume. A lot of problems with recreation. We might throw together a quick hoopstone ring and let everyone get sorted. Uh, oh god, this whole place is a mess and covered in rain. We'll maybe stop for a second and shoot a few people. Oh, and the animals as well. I almost forgot about those. Oh wow. There's a, there's a turtle, guys. <laughs> Never mind. Cleared out most of the baddies. Now let's go have a quick gander through all of their junk. Why not? Uh there. Oh god, there's just loads. Just keep looking everywhere. What have they got? Mostly meat, pemmican, eh, nothing too suspicious. Labrador, elk, panther meat. Normal stuff. Sheep. Eh, over here, only five dining chairs. Yeah, they deserve to get mauled to death, my animals. Five dining chairs. Alright. This was not even worth the attack. You're better off just taking out ancient dangers. Well, I mean, for example, there's 99 gold here, and a bunch of stone blocks. Uh, I'm not sure, I think we were better off just hitting up the Ancient Dangers. These don't seem nearly as valuable. We'll quickly head back to Alco and just trade out the last of that chunk. Then we want to start heading this direction. This has to be our next target. Or maybe we'll stop at Blackstone. I mean, nothing like a little bit of pillaging along the way. Checking the numbers here. Oh, Tom went into a daze. Yeah, well, they're in serious pain because of carcinoma. Bionic stomachs, or those uh, nuclear stomachs, do come with a little bit of uh, some negatives. By destroying that settlement, we got plus 20 goodwill with everyone, so now the Vera tribes have allied with us, unfortunately. <laughs> God damn it. A whole bunch of people are now really happy with us. we we got to stop uh, killing so many people. Oh no, we've still got the Borokin League and the Pact of Toxos. Uh, so, let's go annoy the Borokin League along the way. We don't want anyone else really becoming friendly with us. We Otherwise, we'll only get attacked by mechanoids, and that would be really bad. Bit of a change in plan here. Gonna send uh, the main caravan over here to trade, but Index is going to be dispatched on a special mission. They're starting to head down here now. Moving light, I've given them three animals, about a hundred pemmican, uh, and 
where is it? Give them their items. Six Luciferium, cuff some medicine, a few meals, some pemmican. We're going to send them all the way down here as quickly as we possibly can. They're basically on a high-speed mission. In 3.8 days, they can make it to our target location, if they follow the roads. I was going to go through here, because here there's uh, a lot more forageability, and the terrain is a lot better. Year-round summers, that kind of thing. This place is... Oh, sorry, wrong one. Less conducive to our animals. So I'm thinking, after we finish this final trade up here, we take these and then we park them over here somewhere in a tropical rainforest or somewhere where they can do some good forageability and just let them sit there. They can sit there, forage, keep the animals happy, and then wait until uh, Index arrives. If Index gets any trouble, it's fire skip time. And since we'll be standing still, we'll get all their meditation up, everyone will have full charge on their fire skip and we just jump in and help uh, Index out if they need it or if they run out of food, one or the other. And the day finally dawns when we can get into position. Come on, come on. You're just about there. Runs that. Perfect. Now they're idle. Now where's the other one? Okay, all of you. They've, they've all been well rested up. All of their psi focus is fully charged. Let's grab, say, Pinky down there. Pinky, you're gonna join up over here with the next. Boom. Whole caravan in one spot again. Time to settle down in our, uh, in our new home. Looking around on this swampy map, it seems we have a, an ancient danger over here, but I think we're going to leave that one for now. There's another ancient danger over here, much more central, and I think we're going to tack, tuck into this one. We're going to build a little facility right here. Mm. Quick thing, Knuckles has just gone on an insult spree, and we're going to try something out that was recommended in the comments. We're going to grab a skip, and we're going to skip Knuckles just a little bit. No, didn't work. All right, all right. Just checking. Now, uh, next thing we're going to try is... Where is it? We are going to try Chief's Fire Skip here. Where is it? Fire Skip? Yeah, here comes Knuckles now. And... Oof! And what happened? Wait, which... Where, where did Knuckles go? Knuckles? Oh, Knuckles is fine. Never mind. They're no longer withdrawn. Um, Or they're no longer having a mental break. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Now, it costs you 70% of your scythe focus to do it, but you instantly get a pawn back. That's... Assuming you can keep them inside the radius and all that, there's, like, some downsides, of course. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, let's uh, get... Oh, wow, we're going to need some light in here. And now for the dump. And... Poof! Yep, perfect. We had enough space. All right, all we got to do is just expand out our little storage zone here to include all of that junk. And then we got to put down our recreational buildings and stuff. Everyone is close to mental break dirty. In fact, I think I am going to pop. We should have settled down a long time ago, but I think we're going to pop one of those uh, mood enhancers just to make sure everyone doesn't break. Install the tables, install everything else. I think we got what? An extremely impressive bedroom? Barracks? Eh, whatever. It's impressive enough that everyone's going to get a nice little bonus out of that. And hopefully all those uh, nasty red backgrounds will go away. Uh, they've also got their throne rooms down, just a few other bits and pieces, and they can rest for the night. Just a few things to cover here. I find this really crazy, but while everyone was settled down, we weren't eating all the berries we were harvesting. You harvest twice as much berries if you're not moving. So we've managed to collect almost 2,000 berries, and they were consuming that. We didn't touch the pemmican. I disabled pemmican uh, consumption for everyone except for Index, because Index is moving around. Oh, look at that nice blue background and everyone. Everyone's now got their needs up and running again. Well, okay, also they're all stoned, warm and ambrosia, alcohol, psychite. Oh yeah, this is a... Uh, wow, I can... Damn, that colony is very, very happy and very sloppy. God, I hope the, I hope the smoke leaf wears off before we get attacked next. Otherwise, it's going to be some very lazy shots going around the place. All right, I'm, uh, I'm over capacity for today on the time. I think I'm... Even with all the, the time we spent traveling, we're going to be definitely over. Uh, checking it out here. We are now right close to this area. Where is it? Uh, yeah, down here. In fact, let's have a quick check if Chief... Oh, no, we'll just save it here and I'm going to get break Chief out into a caravan and see what the, the range is on the shuttle. Taking Chief outside, we can see that if we do call a transport shuttle, we can just about hit it. So we can transport them right over there. Now, oh, this is going to be tricky. See, the thing is, we want to send Chief or Pamela because they both have the shuttle skill. That will allow them to get there. 
However, we can use, well, if we send one, we have to send them both and they'll have to be the construction team. Or we could maybe send them and then bring them back. It's just a case if we, we want to keep the couples together. So Chief and Pamela being a couple, we need to keep them in the same bed to keep the morale up. Hmm, this is going to be tricky and we're going to be splitting the team. Uh, the reason for that is, well, we're going to have some people on one side, one area over there building up the base that we're going to use to defend the ship. And we don't want to send them all in all our wealth straight away, otherwise we get big attacks and we might potentially damage the ship or lose it. Damaging the ship is really a problem because we don't have the research to repair it if anything happens to it. But we also need to get up a decent throne room eventually so that we can do the, uh, oh, the stellar quest simultaneously. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, but I am way, way, way over budget. So, uh, hope you enjoyed and, uh, good luck. Thank you.